Okay, so the men's draw for the French Open has just come out, and we have some crazy matches in the first rounds. Not just the third round and beyond, but in the first round, insane matches. Uh, but some players have pulled out. Not too many, but let's go through the withdrawal list first. Okay, so only a few players have pulled out, starting with Chilich. He withdrew from the event, goes, uh, went back into surgery, fortunately, so we won't see him for a while. Uh, Lehechka, he pulled out with a package injury, fortunately. Uh, Diaz Acosta also pulling out with injury, which is a shame because he was playing pretty good on the clay this year. And Berrettini is the latest to withdraw from this event. But let's go have a look at the top of the draw because it is, it's it's scary. All right, 32 seeds in this one and no one gets a buy in the first round at a Grand Slam. Novak Djokovic, world number one. He takes on the wild card Herbert in the first round. Very awkward matchup against a Frenchman in the first round. Herbert also is a bit of a serve volleyer, so that could be really fun to watch in that first round. Winner of that will take on either Bayana or Lestian in the second round. Then you got Monfils taking on Vilch. Winner of that will take on either Gallen, the number 30 seed, Musetti, in the second round. Then you've got the number 23 seed, Sarundolo, will take on Hanfman. First round, winner of that will take on either a qualifier, Connell, in the second round. Then you've got Fanini taking on Van der Zanschulp. Winner of that will take on either Cashin, or the number 14 seed, Paul, in the second round. This draw is all, like, uh, is it winnable? Yes, but, I mean, Musetti for Djokovic in the third round? I mean, that's not fun. you got to watch out for Djokovic, obviously, in this section. you got to watch out for Paul. He's come back pretty strong. Played really well last week in Rome. And uh, you got to watch out for Musetti as well uh, even though he hasn't been playing well lately he's still could be very, very tough. Third round against Djokovic. And I'd also be watching out for Vilch, who's uh, been very good on the clay this year and could be very dangerous like he was last year by beating Medvedev in the first round. Next section, you've got number 12 seed Fritz. He'll take on Correa in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Lajevic or Safiul in the second round. Then you've got Poprin taking on Kokonakis. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number 22 seed Manorino in the second round. Then you've got the 28 seed Echeverry taking on Kazo. Winner of that will take on either Rindanish or Walton in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Fakina. Winner of that will take on either Menzi or the number seven seed, Casper Rude, in the second round. So Rude's got a tricky start. Not to mention he's got Djokovic later, but we'll talk about that in a second. But in this section, of course, you've got to watch out for Casper Rude. Made the last two finals of the French Open. I've uh, got to watch out for Fritz as well. Besides this week in Geneva, he's been really good on the clay in the last couple of tournaments. We've also got to watch out for Echeverry. He did make the a run here last year. Very, very capable on the clay. But I'd also be watching out unseated player. I'd watch, I'd watch out for Fakina. I think Fakina has proven that he can play on clay and you know with a couple of wins here and there maybe get some confidence could be really awkward also has played rude here in five sets so that could be a great second round for all of us next section of the draw we've got number four seeds Verev takes on nadal he takes on rafa that's the first round why why is that a first round that's not fair winner of that match will take on either goffin or pericard in the second round then you've got hitchikata taking on Dadiri. winner of that will take on either mcdonald or the number 26 seed grigsport in the second round then you got the number 18 seed Hashinov taking on Nagel. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Giron in the second round. Then you've got Kabali taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Evans or the number 13 seed Runa in the second round. I don't need to say it. This draw is insane. This is a crazy draw. This is a crazy section of the draw. Very capable clay quarters everywhere. Of course, you've got to watch out for Zverev. You've got to watch out for Runa. Made the quarterfinals the last two years. Also, Zverev's made the semifinals the last three years. And then, of course, you've got to watch out for Rafa. I mean, obviously, right? I mean, <laughs> if he gets past Zverev, then that's great. But, uh, yeah. And I'd also watch out for Hashinov because he has made it, uh, deep runs here before as well. So, a uh, very interesting section. All right, next section of the draw, you've got number 11 seed Diminor taking on Mickelson. Winner of that will take on either Munar or Batista Ragu in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Struff. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or the number 19 seed Bublik in the second round. Then you've got number 31 seed Navone taking on Karina Buster, which is great to see him back in action for the first time in a while. The winner of that will take on either Boyez or Mahach. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Kajmenovic. Winner of that will take on either Kopfa or the number 5 seed Medvedev in the second round. We're not talking about Medi, and his draw's not terrible. Hoffer is tough, but also Medvedev could get through that. Um, also, obviously, you gotta watch out for Medvedev in this section. You gotta watch out for Demonor in this section. Uh, you gotta watch out for Struff, of course, in this section. Be very good on the clay this year. Uh, and I'd also watch out for Novone. Really good on the clay uh, in South America. Of course, the semi-final lineup between this section and the top section, we could be getting the big seeds. We could be getting Djokovic taking on Zverev. If you want to go with the big names, it could be Djokovic Medvedev. If you think Medvedev can have a run and turn back into Klaibadev. I mean, look, you could say Djokovic versus Rafa. If you really want to dream big, I mean, Rafa's got to get through a lot. But if you want to go and, you know, turn back the clock, maybe we pick that as well. All right, bottom half of the draw, we've got the number six seed, Rublev. He takes on Daniel in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Martinez or uh, Taranti in the second round. Then you've got Nardi taking on Muller. Winner of that will take on the winner of uh, Arnaudi or the number 29 seed, Feast in the second round. Then you got the 17th seed, Umber, taking on Sonigo. Winner of that will take on either Zhang or uh, uh, Vukic in the second round. 
Then you got Jared taking on Altmaier. Winner of that will take on either Fuchovic, the number nine seed, City Pass in the second round. This is an interesting draw. You know, Rublev and City Pass uh, have been very good. Monte Carlo Madrid champions. You gotta watch out for Rublev. You gotta watch out for City Pass. Uh, I'd watch out for Feast and Umber just because they're French and they're playing in France. Maybe not Umber on clay, but still, uh, the French, uh, you gotta play them as well, right? So that could be really awkward for both. Next section of the draw, you got the number 15 seed, Shelton. We've taken on Gaston in the first round. You know that's gonna be fire. Winner of that will take on either Nishikori or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Purcell taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Nishioka or the number 21 seed, Felix Ogeliasim, in the second round. Then you got the 27 seed, Quarter. He'll take on the wildcard Mayotte in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Rusevori or Quan in the second round. Then we'll see uh, Draper take on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or the number three seed, Elkaraz, in the second round. I think Elkaraz got the best. I, I think on paper, his draw, if he's healthy, he makes the quarterfinals. I mean, he might drop a set. Of course, you got to watch out for Elkaraz in this section. Uh, you got to watch out for Ogelia Seam. He did make the Madrid final despite getting a lot of, you know, easy wins. You know, free passes, some would say. But you got to watch out for him. Form is form. Uh, also, watch out for Quarter. Can be very dangerous. Watch out for Sheldon as well. You know, those guys have proven that Clay's, you know, not their... Uh, they can play on Clay. All right, bottom parts of the draw now. We've got number eight seed, Hercatch, who will take on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Alboran or Nakashima in the second round. Then you got Van Aish taking on Shapovalov. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or the number 25 seed Tiafo in the second round. Then you got the 24th seed Tabillo. He'll take on another qualifier in this section. Winner of that will take on either Thompson or Matera in the second round. Then you got Marijan taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Kovacevic or the number 10 seed Dimitrov in the second round. A lot of qualies. A lot of qualifiers in this section. And look, I mean, Tabillo, obviously great form. But it's, I don't know. I don't know if there's a standout in this section. Maybe Tabillo on form, but... You gotta watch out for her catch. You gotta watch out for Dimitrov as the two big seeds. But I'd definitely be watching out for Tabillo. I feel like Tabillo has a good, a good chance here to improve on that Rome result because there's not any real scary players, especially if you can beat Djokovic. I mean, you gotta feel pretty good about yourself. Almost, he almost beats Zverev as well. He was the only guy last week in Rome to take a set of Zverev. So, all right, bottom part of the draw, you've got number 16 seed Jerry taking on Mute first round. Winner of that will take on either. Shevchenko or Karatsev in the second round. Then you got at main taking on Ovna. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number 20 seed Baez in the second round. Then you got the 32 seed Nori taking on Kotov. Winner of that will take on either Vavrinka or Andy Murray, who are playing in a first round on clay. God, it's a, it's a, such a throwback, but love that. Then you got Gasquet taking on Chorich, another great first round. Winner of that will take on either Eubanks or the number two seed Sinner in the second round. It's Sinner and the veterans. That's what's in this section. I mean, it's Sinner versus the veterans. And when I say veterans, I'm talking about the 30 plus year old. He, he's got to love that draw, Sinner. Even if his hips are a little sore, he should be able to get through some rounds in this section. Of course, you got to watch out for Sinner. You got to watch out for Baez has been good on clay this year obviously Jarry just made a Rome final gotta watch out for him but I'd be watching out for a couple of the veterans too I mean you gotta watch out for Vrinka can play on clay won a French Open you gotta watch out for Gasquet at home you know in the French in front of the French crowd he's not gonna play too many more French Opens and also Andy Murray I know that he might you know maybe dream big kind of like Rafa but you gotta watch out for Murray as well especially if it's Murray Nori in the second round I mean that could be really interesting Nori hasn't been great this year so Murray maybe Murray fans can, there's a little bit of hope there and this section of course will take on the semi-finals against that Alcaraz section so you could be seeing Sinner take on Alcaraz in the semi-final you could see Sinner maybe taking on Rublev if you think it's uh, gonna be maybe Alcaraz not making it through somehow or maybe it could be Sinner versus City Pass if you want to go with something a little different or if you think Alcaraz is gonna make it and Sinner's not Maybe you want to go with Alcaraz taking on her cat. Or maybe you want to go Alcaraz taking on Tabillo in a semi-final. That would be huge for uh, for South American tennis. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really clear up anything, this draw. Uh, the guy who's in the best form has the worst draw. That's Zverev. The guys that have the easier draw have been injured, Sinner and Alcaraz. And then Djokovic is in the middle there with a awkward draw and he's not playing great. Who's going to win the French Open? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later. I mean, look, Djokovic at Grand Slams is different. Are we going to see Djoko Grand Slam Djokovic? Or are we going to see a first-time champion? It's going to be wild, though. It starts on Sunday, so make sure you're there.